Good to have you with us on the WCUB Breakfast Club this morning. I'm Craig Dillon, turning our focus to education. Joining us, Scott Aronson, CEO of Cloudera, along with Ruz Aliabadi, CEO of Ready AI, providing artificial intelligence education for K-12 students around the world. Their goal is data literacy for children. Ruse and Scott here to talk about STEM subjects in school and why they've never been more important. There's a new entertaining interactive kids book for ages 8 to 12. Now, this thing is designed to promote science and tech. The book, A Fresh Squeeze on Data, seeking to make all the learning fun. Welcome this morning, Scott and Ruse. How are you two doing? We're great. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, not a problem. Now, uh, one of the big things facing educators here, obviously, in this past week, it's been a hot topic, or this past year, I should say, virtual learning. Now, uh, you got your STEM subjects, science, tech, engineering, math. They've been very difficult to learn. Uh, tell us about this. Why is this? So this is Ruz again from Ready AI. You're right. You know, think about summer slide. You know, as students return to school each fall, many of them, in a way, start uh, the academic year with achievement levels lower than where they were at the beginning of the summer break. So for almost two years right now, we have teachers, students, parents um, that have been experiencing something different. You know, this pandemic, in a way, has worsened this summer summer slide uh, with factors including loss of in-person learning or hands-on learning. And you talked about STEM, you know, science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering, and math subjects are considered to be really the foundation for future jobs. But yet, um, uh, STEM has been hardest to really translate to virtual learning, and we're leaving children without the knowledge for a solid foundation. Therefore, the, uh, the ability to understand data is perhaps, I would argue, the key ingredient for future jobs. Therefore, data literacy is more important than ever before. Why is it more difficult than others to do virtually? It is difficult, once again, this is ruse, mainly because we are losing the engagement factor. And uh, part of learning uh, involves tremendous amount of engage, uh, engagement. And if, if we really want to make a subject matter inclusive, and we want, we want to get everyone, all learners interested, we really have to focus on engagement. And that has been something that has been missing from our education uh, for the past two years and, we've been spot and has been spotlighted because of the pandemic. So in you guys' mind, it's basically better engagement that can combat this whole problem. It certainly helps. You know, as the father of, of two kids that have... Uh, you know, trying to figure this out over Zoom, uh, it's not easy. And keeping them sort of in and focused and engaged uh, is a challenge. And mm -hmm. ensuring that they have something that is um, not only exciting maybe for them, but, but relatable and accessible. And in the area of data in particular, I think kids are smart and they see it all around them, right? They see it on, uh, you know, YouTube. They see it on you know, things like TikTok and, and, they're, and the iPhones and the iPads, right? They know that it is around. And I think, you know, kind of relating um, a subject like this into areas that are maybe part of their everyday lives helps maybe create a connection that is more engaging for them. And, and it's something, I tell you that. They need something. Hmm. And also, uh, Scott or Ruse, whoever wants to answer this one, uh, now... What other initiatives have you guys been doing to, uh, you've launched to help make data and AI more uh, interesting and available to all the kids out there? Yeah, well, you know, at, at Cloudera, um, you know, certainly we believe that, that starting early with children and their data literacy is really important. It's important to expose them and give them opportunities. Uh, we've partnered with uh, the Boys and Girls Club and Ready AI to help create a tool where, you know, adults, in children's lives are able to teach them skills for the workforce of the future. As part of that initiative, Cloudera and Ready AI partnered with the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Ol Olbrick, Connecticut, 
to sponsor what's called the Brain Game, which was a themed summer camp where they piloted a new curriculum for teachers that explores the role that data and AI plays in our lives. Again, making it more relatable. The Boys and Girls Club now is incorporating this book uh, and lesson plans related to the book into local schools this fall. Um, and we're also partnering with other youth organizations in schools in communities where Cloudera employees live, right? Folks that specialize in this area of, of data and AI uh, to introduce them to this book and, and talk to them about their experiences and how AI, data analytics, and machine learning um, can, can engage and become easier for those children to understand. You know, we have about 3,000 employees at Cloudera. So by wow. being active members of our community in a topic area like this, hopefully we can bring it to life uh, in, in communities across the U.S. and around the world. We're excited about these collaborations, for sure. Yeah. Talking about the book, A Fresh Squeeze on Data, Scott Aronson and Ruz Aliabadi with us this morning on the WCUB Breakfast Club. Uh, the big thing, children and their parents need to care about data literacy. Uh, why is that, Scott? Well, look, whether we like it or not, everything is data these days. Yeah. And data is really everywhere, right? We, we talked about this. iPhones, TikTok, you know, your car. Uh, so it's a bigger and bigger part of our lives. Uh, it's maybe more apparent than ever before. And, you know, if that's really the case, like understanding data and how to use it to make you smarter and more competitive in the classroom will lead and can lead to a great job as an adult. Um, by looking at what's happened in the past, data can help us predict what might happen in the future. You know, yeah. for example, um, you know, you probably heard of the, the book Moneyball. It can help you build mm -hmm. the most optimal sports team. Um, it can help predict certain diseases or conditions before they happen. And as a child, to understand the connection that data has to sort of big picture items like this, it's exciting for them. Um, so that is something that, that children and parents should care about. You know, data is present and it's going to become a bigger and bigger part of the future. You know, AI will soon be, whether you like it or not, uh, our kids' coworkers. Um, yeah. They may be, it may be driving us around at some point. <laughs> uh, there may be our, our customer service reps or our radiologists, right? It's going to become a, a, even bigger and more natural part um, of our children's lives. Um, kids need to be literate in this area. If they understand where data comes from and how it can be used to make good predictions and decisions, they might also be able to understand where data um, that, that they're looking at is maybe biased or flawed. Again, helping them step, step back, uh, you know, and assess and make, make the right decisions for them, their family, or community at large. Ruz, where can folks go to get more information? Sure, you can just go visit freshsqueezekids.com. Once again, freshsqueezekids.com, where you can get the book free. You can get everything around the book free as well, lesson plans and all the interactive exercises. The book, again, A Fresh Squeeze on Data. Scott Aronson with Cloudera and Ruz Aliabadi of Ready AI. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Have a great one. Yeah, you too, guys. Thanks.